and expressing to God just how good he has been to you. Praise him with your lips. Have a conversation with God. Communicate with him how good he has been to you. He is your way maker. He is your battle axe. He is your help in the time of trouble. Oh God, I praise your name. I lift you up because you've been so good. I will worship you. I will magnify you. I will support your holy name. I will give you the highest praise. You have been so good to us. You have been so great to us. You bow down at your feet, God, to bless you like where we are. The enemy wants to destroy us, but you have a power in your hand. You are the boss. Do what you need to do. King, hallelujah, take over this place. You are the one. We are subjected to you, oh God. You have a power, and we will worship your name, and we will praise your name. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, be to the name of the Lord. Oh, Shatayama, hallelujah. I didn't come here just to hear a word, but I came here to bless God like he deserves. I came here to lift him up like he deserves. This is the day that my God has made. And I will not sit there and be quiet, but I will bless him at all times. I will give him the high praise. I worship him like he deserves. I bow down at his feet just to praise his name. He's been so good. You can praise him, hallelujah. You can praise him. We can go off the logistic schedule and you can praise God right where you are. If he's been good to you, you want to praise him. If he's made a way for you, you want to praise him. If he heals your body, you want to praise him. If he's opened doors, you want to praise him. This is the time for you to praise him right now. Create an avenue to praise him. Oh, hallelujah. Give him the glory. Give him the honor. Praise him like you want him. I know you may be hurting in your body, but praise him to feel better. I know you may be sick in your body. Praise him to get healed. I know you may be perplexing your mind. Praise him to be free. Because whoever the Son sets free, he is free. Indeed, I have no more chain. I have no more body. I'm free. Oh, I'm free. Hey, I'm free. I'm free to worship. I'm free to pray. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Ali Tama, I see ya. Oh, Ali Tama. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Praise him. Hallelujah. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yeah, Lord, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we bless your name this day. Praise you for your goodness. Praise you for your wonderful works to the children of men. 
We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I praise you, Lord. We give you honor. We are grateful unto you for your wonderful grace in the midst of all of our lives. We thank you, Lord, for one more day to be among the land of the living. Thank you for letting me wake up this morning. See another day your hands are made. Thank you for letting me get out of the bed, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God and do honor everyone here today. We honor our clergy. Thank God for them. Praise the Lord. Our deacons to our missionaries and mothers, musicians, ushers, security, any visitors in the house. We honor you as well. Praise the Lord. God's been good to us. I say God has been good to us. Oh, yes, he has. Praise the Lord. I, I want to, first of all, thank you for your prayers for Mother Anna McCray's recovery. She's up and about. Praise the Lord. Every day she gets, does it. Thank God. We thank God for that. Praise the Lord. Also want to thank uh, Sister Adrian Williams and Sister Brielle and those who worked for the the uh, ABYPU service on Friday night. Thank God for those who support those who support it. Praise the Lord. I got a big mouth. I don't need it that loud. Praise the Lord. But we thank God for you coming out and supporting in the name of Jesus Christ. And we're trying to revive our youth department. Praise the Lord, because we want to see the young people saved. Praise the Lord. We want to see souls saved in the name of Jesus Christ. And uh, we're just grateful unto the Lord for what he's doing. Praise God. I believe the best is yet to come. I want you to pray much for Mother Barbara Chester Hand. I want, and, uh, Sister Rachel Thomas. From Florida, Brother Stephen Mitchell, Sister Demetria Hand, Brother uh, Sister Gloria Dean Pryor, and Sister Krisha Cross. The Bible says that uh, prayer, the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous person, it, av it avails much. Praise the Lord. It avails much. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous person touches God and God answers the prayers and ministers to the person who is in need. How many of you all here know God is a prayer answer in God? Oh, he answers prayer. Yes, he does. Amen. And we thank God for that. We also want to acknowledge Sister Granada, Everett in the house. Praise the Lord, Sister Regina, Everett's daughter. Thank God for her in the name of Jesus Christ. I need you all to pray for me today because I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm delirious. I'm sleep deprived, all of the above. Amen. You know, when someone gives care, the caretaker needs somebody to care for them <laughs> when it's all over. But if you pray for me, the Lord will bless and uh, and we look forward to ministering to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. That's fine. Yes. I want you to turn with me in your Bibles to the book of 2 Corinthians in the New Testament. And I will read in your hearing verses 7 through 11. That's 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse number 7 through 11. And when you have it, I ask that you stand to your feet for the reading of the word of God. When you have it, will you say amen? But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God, and not of us. We are troubled on every side, 
yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Let the church say amen. amen. Will you bow your heads with me? Gracious God and Father, Lord, we thank you. We praise your name. We're so grateful unto you for what you have wrought in the midst of our lives. Thank you for your gift to humanity in the person of Jesus Christ. Oh God, he went to the cross and shed his blood so that we could receive redemption, salvation, and eternal life. Lord God, my Father, this day, remember the names we've called before you on the list of prayer. In the Jesus, I ask you to touch. I ask you to stretch out your hand and minister by your mighty power. Oh God, heal those that are sick. Strengthen those that are weak. Deliver those that are bound. In the name of Jesus Christ, bind the hand of Satan. Rebuke him now in Jesus' name. Make him turn someone a loose, Lord. Make him release. Oh, God, my Father, make him release them. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, do it for your glory is my prayer. I ask you in Jesus' name. And those that believe the Lord heard the prayer, let them shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. You may be seated. Also remember Elder Joseph Hillmeadow. Pray for him in the name of Jesus. I want to speak to you from the subject, trouble won't last always. Trouble won't last always. Anybody here got trouble? Praise the Lord. It's good to know that it won't be here forever. Amen. Trouble in the Bible is described as adversity. It is described as having anguish, distress, tribulation. In this particular text that I read to you, the word troubled, it means to press hard upon, to afflict. The word expresses a situation or circumstance that causes some type of emotional suffering some emotional pain in a person's life. Trouble is something in this life that seems to be unavoidable. I haven't met one person who say I'm trouble free. And if they said it, they're not telling the total truth. For you can live your life peaceably. You can try to get along with everybody. And yet out of nowhere, trouble seems to find you in an attempt to disrupt your spiritual flow, your flow of peace, your flow of harmony and unity. Even though the scripture teaches us in Romans, the fifth chapter and verse number three, that we glory in tribulation. We boast in the things we go through knowing that tribulation has a purpose. It's, it's funny to think that the trouble we go through, it has a purpose. It has something God wants to do in you and through you and for you. Because to us, all it feels like is aggravation. To us, it only feels like pain. But tribulation works patience. And patience is a steadfastness. It builds endurance in a believer's life. Because after you fight so long, you get used to fighting. But after you have suffered a while, then the Lord shall strengthen you, establish you, and settle you. And patience in our lives, that too brings about something called experience. Oh, praise the Lord. And experience works hope. And hopes make me not ashamed because I'm a child of God. 
and have to go through certain things. It seems as though when trouble comes into our lives and it presses against us, presses against your spirit, praise the Lord. You know, uh, I don't like problems. I don't like trouble, but I've been dealing with it for so long. And just because I don't like it doesn't mean it's not going to come. You can't wish it away. You can't pray it away. It's there. And it aggravates you. Praise the Lord. It upsets you. Get you off your smooth flow. You know, you all happy. You woke up happy. Sun came up. You thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All throughout the day, things are going smooth. And then here comes something to rile you up. Praise the Lord. Make you, make you mad. Make you upset. Amen. But then you have to remember that God is with me. And as long as Jesus Christ is with me, I'm going to get through this. It seems as though trouble, when it comes, you start to ask the Lord. Lord, why? And we know good and well why. Because the devil doesn't want you to be happy. The enemy don't want you to go rejoicing all day long. He wants to throw a monkey wrench in there. He wants to stop you and trip you up. Praise the Lord. And get you start thinking the wrong kinds of thoughts. Then you remember that they, these kinds of situations are normal for a child of God. Don't you know you have to suffer with him if you plan on reigning with Jesus Christ? Don't you know that it is a fact that, yes, all that will live godly in Christ Jesus is going to suffer persecution, trials, tribulations, tests, anxiety? Praise the Lord. That's part of the inheritance of the saints. Oh, thank you, Jesus Christ. You will suffer persecution, and those who persecute you, the evil men and the seducers, are going to wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Do you see our world, how bad it is? And it looks like it gets worse every day. Praise the Lord. It's because the demonic forces are taking over and influencing the mind the hearts of people, till they become callous, till human life doesn't mean anything. Praise the Lord. Don't have natural affection. Praise the Lord. A, a person, if you're in a fight, you, you beat them up, and or they beat you up, and that's it. No, they want to kill you. They want you to go either to hell or to heaven. Praise the Lord. That's the way we live today. Praise God. Trouble everywhere. Trouble is surrounding our lives. Oh, this is the world which we live in today, a world of trouble, a world of stress, a world of vexation. Praise the Lord. That's why saints don't have too much joy. They've been dealing with trouble all day. They've been dealing with mess all day. Praise God. Their spirit is a point that it is on high alert looking for what's going to happen next. But you can't live like that. You got to put your trust in Jesus Christ. Praise God. Each day there's a new problem. Each day there's a new attack from the enemy. Each day the adversary trying to wear you down. Praise the Lord. No, he can't succeed all at once. So he tries to nudge you a little by little. Praise God, because he knows that after a while, your teapot is going to boil. Thank you, Jesus. He tries to minimize your effectiveness as a child of God. He wants you to be vulnerable. Praise the Lord to his attacks. But you got to hang in there and resist the devil. And if you resist the devil, he will flee from you. Praise God. Don't you remember the song? Praise God. Trouble in my way. I got to cry sometimes. I lay awake at night, but that's all right. Because I know Jesus is going to fix it. 
Praise the Lord. How many know Jesus going to fix it for you? How many know the Lord going to bring you out? Oh, yes, he is. So, praise God. Jesus Christ is going to remedy your situation. You know what a remedy is when you're sick? Praise God and feeling ill. The doctor gives you something to help you recover. Praise the Lord. And you're going to recover from where you are now. Praise the Lord. Some of you have already recovered. Oh, praise God. Because God is a God who loves his children. Praise the Lord. Right now, the place you And I'm speaking to somebody in Facebook Live. The place you're in right now may be uncomfortable. And you have become emotionally drained. But that's why Jesus Christ is a renewer of your strength. That's why Jesus is right there to be your refresher. Praise the Lord to encourage you to hold on a little bit longer. Oh, praise the Lord. Don't you know God is your help and your strength is in Jesus Christ. So you have to go through your storm in the rain. But the Lord is going to weather it with you. Oh, yes, he will. Every believer, every child of God has to learn how to weather their storm. Uh, because through your storm, through your floods, the devil's going to try to drown you. Yep. Praise the Lord. But you have to be like a raft. you got to have some buoyancy. Yep. Praise the Lord. I'm not going to die in the middle of my trial. No, sir. I'm going to live to testify about where the Lord brought me from. Oh, praise the Lord. You got to endure hardness as a good soldier. Because your trouble, your afflictions, your trials and tests, it not going to last always. Oh, praise the Lord. I know some of you say, Pastor, it seems like it's never going to end. Uh, I wake up with problems. I eat problems for lunch, breakfast, and dinner. The, praise the Lord. I have more problems than I do have joy. The, praise God. You have anxiety when you go through some tests. So, praise God because your mind is only thinking about the problem and the situation. The, how did I get in this? So, how am I going to get out of this? So, praise God. God, but the Lord is going to deliver you. Yep. Did you hear what I say? He's going to bring you out. Yep. You must be assured that Jesus is going to fix it for you. Yep. He is a deliverer. Uh, he is a way maker. Yep. He is a heart fixer. Yep. He is a God that can bring you out. Yep. Oh, praise the Lord. But you must be assured that Jesus is going to do it for you. Yep. When you look at the Bible, there was a man whose name was Job. Yep. He was a man that was blessed. Yep. He was highly favored and successful. Yep. But even though he was all that, trouble still visited him. Yep. Trouble going to visit everybody. Yep. That's why when your sister or brother is going through, don't talk about them. Yep. Don't throw shade on them. Yep. But pray for them. Yep. Because next week it may be you. Yep. Oh, praise the Lord. Job wrote, praise God, after he came out of his trial and test. Yep. He said a man or a woman. Uh, no, Job said a man. I said a woman. A person that's born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. Go have trouble everywhere you go. And soon as you breathe a sigh of relief, here comes some more trouble. Praise the Lord. Job said, I know my Redeemer lives. I know God is alive. I know he sees me where I am right now. Yep. I know he's living, praise the Lord, and I know he's going to stand here one day. Yep, Praise the Lord, and I'm going to see him for myself. Yep. 
Up. Praise the Lord. My eyes shall behold him. Up. Oh, praise God. Trouble won't last always. Up. Even your trouble got an expiration date. Up. Even your trouble got duration. Up. And I know the Lord bring me out. Up. Praise the Lord. Not only did Job have trouble. Up. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Up. But the apostle Paul. Up. His ministry was riddled with suffering uh, and unbelievable troubles. Up. Yet he was able to prevail. Up. He testifies of the numerous encounters. Up. You know, sometimes people up, will question your testimony. Up. When you start telling things that you have experienced up. and they looked at Paul up. And they say he says he's an apostle. Up. But we don't think he looked like an apostle. Up. And Paul had to defend himself. Up. He said, and I am a Hebrew just like them. Up. I am an apostle just like them. Up. But I work harder than all of them put together. Up. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Up. I labored more abundantly. Up. In getting beat up, I was without measure. Up. I was in prison more frequent than they were. Up. In death had death threats. Up. The Jews took me and beat me five times. Up. With 40 stripes. Up. Three times I was beat with rods. Up. Once I was stoned. Up. Three times I spent the evening in the sea. Up. Praise God, I was shipwrecked. Up. I was naked and hungry. Up. But the Lord was on my side. Up. And he came and encouraged me. Up. I had false witnesses. Up. I had false brothers. Up. I was in the wilderness. They were after me. Up. I was in the city. Up. They tried to kill me. Up. But I know. I have come to this point to know the Lord is my helper. Oh, yes, he is. It may look like I'm not going to last, but that's what it looked like on the outside. Because the outward man perish, but the inward man is renewed day by day. Every day I get stronger. Every day I get better. Every day the devil come after me. But by the evening time I'm still here. Saying thank you Jesus for what you've done. Oh praise the Lord. Trouble won't last always. King David had his troubles. Had his trials. Had social troubles. Had family troubles. Had political troubles. Had national troubles. But one thing that David did. He kept his eyes on the Lord. He dealt with the situation. He dealt with the soul. He dealt with the Goliaths. He dealt with the haters and the backbiters. Trouble won't last always. What I don't like is for people to smile in my face and run me down. What I don't like for people to, to act like to, they're on my side and then turn away but as long as I have King Jesus as long as I have the Lord I'm gonna make it you're gonna make it did you hear me trouble gonna expire haters gonna back up backbiters Gonna shut their mouth and Lord gonna get the glory. Jesus, I said, Jesus, gonna take you through. Yes, he is. Jesus brought you. Jesus will deliver you. Oh, hallelujah. 
it's good to know trouble won't last always because the enemy's tactic is to overwhelm you to make you think it's no use in fighting it's no use in standing on the word of god it's no use in praying because look like nothing gonna change but the devil is a liar praise the lord david had to deal with the souls david had to deal with somebody he loved was trying to help trying to assist and saw in his mind looked at david as a threat to his kingdom first of all it wasn't his kingdom the kingdom belonged to god that's to say my my, my people my church we, i don't own a church and Lord knows you, 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 don't belong, you don't belong to me. I pastor you. But you're the sons and daughters, not of McCray. You're the sons and daughters of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it wears on you when you have to deal with one problem after another. In David's youth, Saul was trying to hunt him down and kill him. Praise the Lord. David didn't do anything. Praise God. Tried to be a blessing unto Saul's ministry. Then when he had to face Goliath, because everybody else was scared, and the Lord shielded him and gave him victory. That's when Saul went off the deep end. You know, envy and jealousy will corrupt the person who feels like that. It gets in your spirit, in your mind, and all you can see, that jealousy. That's all you can see. I ain't never been jealous of nobody. Because if they can get it, I can get it. If the Lord gave it to him, then I ask him, he's my father too. Praise the Lord. Envious. And I'm going to tell you how envy works. Envy is that you can, when a person is being blessed by God, you can't see any reason why to thank God for what he's given to them. You become jealous. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And that is a bad spirit to have, especially in the house of God. When we all supposed to rejoice with them that rejoice and weep with them that weep and we supposed to share in the, the, the emotions of those around us, Saul couldn't do it. Praise the Lord. Even after the Lord took care of Saul, the devil broke out in David's family. Sibling rivalry. Praise the Lord. S sibling rivalry. Fighting against one another. Praise God. David, I don't know how David lasted to be 80. He should have had a stroke, a heart attack, or been on tranquilizers or something. But the reason why David survived, because David said, I lift my eyes to the hills from whence come my help, my help, <laughs> my help come from the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord who watches over me, who don't sleep, don't slumber. He put a shield around me. And that's what make the devil mad when he can't penetrate the shield. They want to get at you. But the Lord won't let them. So they try to assassinate you with their tongue. Character assassination. Backbiting. Talking about you. And then smile in your face. You know that person got some emotional problem. Praise the Lord. And if they don't say it, they thinking it. But the Lord know your thoughts. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. I wish I could finish this. Praise the Lord. David dealt with every issue that came into his life. And the Lord gave him victory in battle. 
And one of the psalms that I love is Psalm number 27. Because there he gave a testimony about the troubles that he had in his life. And yet the Lord was able to sustain him. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemy, my foes come upon me to eat up my flesh. The Lord tripped them and made them stumble and fall. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me. Praise the Lord. In this I'll be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To inquire in his temple, he's going to hide me in his tabernacle. Now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies, round about me. He shall set me upon a rock. I will offer unto him sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yeah, I'll sing praises unto the Lord. Your trouble won't last always. Your trial won't last always. Your situation won't last always. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus Christ. And the Lord is going to change the situation. Oh, yes, he will. If you believe it, give him a praise. If you believe the Lord going to change it, give him a praise. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. Will you stand to your feet? Everyone in the house. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This message is for somebody besides me. Praise the Lord. Trouble won't last always. The Lord won't let it last always. The Lord allows it to come. The Lord appoints it to come into your life. And then the Lord said, that's enough. That has a, Your trouble has accomplished what he wanted it to accomplish. And then you move on to the next time, the next trial, the next test. But long as I'm in the will of God, praise the Lord, long as I'm in the will of God, I'll be satisfied. Bless you now. Praise the Lord. Someone here.